Rounding and Estimating We use rounding when the question asks you to estimate, when the question asks about how many, when an exact answer isn't possible or necessary, when an exact answer is difficult to get. Each of these options are perfect examples of when you would use rounding. Here is a helpful hint. Remember this poem. Find your number. Look right next door. Four or less, just ignore. Five or more, add one more. So that poem again. Find your number. Look right next door. Four or less, just ignore. Five or more, add one more. Rounding and estimating need to be done carefully. So think about what is being asked and take your time. It is easy to make a mistake if you rush. Slow down and think about it and it will become easy with practice. Round this number to the nearest 10,000. The number is 368,971. First thing, find your number. Circle the digit in the ten thousands place. This is the place that you're rounding to. Once you've circled the digit, then look right next door. Draw an arrow to the right of the digit. In this case, you're going to be looking at the thousands place. Is that digit four or less? If it is, just ignore it. But eight is larger than four, so go to the next line of the poem. Five or more, add one more. The eight is larger than four, so we need to add one to the digit six. We add 1 to the 6 and all the rest of the digits to the right of the 7 now become zeros. So therefore, 368,971 rounded to the nearest 10,000 is 370,000. Here's another example. Round this number to the nearest 1,000. First, find your number. Circle the digit in the thousands place, in this case the digit 5. Look right next door. Draw an arrow to the right of the digit. In this case the arrow is pointing to the hundreds place, the digit 3. Next, is that digit four or less? If so, just ignore. In this case, the three is less than four, so we do not change the digit five. All of the rest of the digits still become zeros to the right of the five. So therefore, the answer, 35,327 rounded to the nearest thousand is 35,000. Here's an example with money. Round this number to the nearest dollar. In this case, we have $3.87. Now, if I asked you about how much money you had, you would say about what? So here is where estimation comes into play and rounding for money. First thing, find your number. Circle the digit where the dollars are, in this case, three. Next, look right next door. Draw an arrow to the right of the circle digit. In this case, we're looking at the eight in the tenths place, which is actually 80 cents. 
Is the digit four or less? If so, just ignore. The eight is greater than four, so we need to go to the next line of the poem. Five or more, add one more. Since the eight is greater than five, add one to the three. Five or more, add one more. Once we've done that, we change the three to a four and change all the rest of the digits to the right to zeros. So the answer, $3.87 rounded to the nearest dollar is $4. If I asked you about how much money you had, you would say I have about $4. Rounding is useful with decimals as well, as you just saw with rounding money before. The method of rounding decimals is just the same. You still have to be careful with place value. Round this number to the nearest tenth place. Find your number. Circle the digit in the tenths place. In this case, the digit eight. Look right next door. Draw an arrow to the right of the circled digit. The arrow is pointing to the hundredths place, in this case the digit 7. Four or less, just ignore. The arrow is pointing to the digit 7, and 7 is greater than 4, so we need to go to the next line of the poem five or more, add one more. Since the seven is greater than five, add one to the eight. Change the eight to a nine and drop all of the rest of the digits to the right of the nine as they are not needed anymore. So the answer four and eight hundred seventy one thousandths or four point eight seven one rounded to the nearest tenth place is actually four point nine there is only really one trick to rounding and that is if you are rounding the digit nine if you round up then it becomes 10 and changes any digits to the left of it. Here is an example. Round this number to the nearest 100. Find your number. Circle the digit in the hundreds place. In this case, it is the digit 9. Look right next door. The arrow is now pointing to the tens place, which is the digit 7. Four or less, just ignore. The 7 is higher than 4, so we need to go to the next line of the poem. Adding 1 to the 9 makes 10, which then changes the 6 into a 7. The rest of the digits to the right then becomes 0. Because 5 or more, add 1 more. Adding 1 to the 9 makes 10, which then changes the 6 into a 7. The rest of the digits to the right become 0. So therefore, 76,974 becomes 77,000 when you round it to the nearest 100. thousand is the nearest 100 to 76,974. 
you are done this module. Please feel free to practice with your parents, rounding numbers. Try to get really tricky and see if you can figure it out. See you in class.